The Holy Family was commissioned for a church in New Jersey, and the liturgical design consultant that was working on that project called me and said, I'd like you to do a Holy Family. And so we started talking about Protestant versus Catholic views of Holy Families, but this idea came to me really like a photograph. And I've only had that on two of my sculptures, but the Holy Family was one of them. And it's where Joseph is holding Jesus up as a, he's a toddler, and Jesus has his arms out and he's prefiguring the cross. So Joseph represents our Heavenly Father who gave his son to die for us. And then Mary is reaching in sort of a don't drop him kind of thing, but also in adoration. And so she's adoring Christ. And Mary, through her life, was always pointing to her son, and that's where her heart is. Simeon said in the prophecy that a sword would pierce her heart, and so I really do look for that sadness that's in there. There's joy and all of that, but there's a deep kind of suffering. We parents suffer when our kids are hurting or going to face something hard. When this half life size was installed in this church, there was a man that came up and said, I get it. That's what we all do. We lift up our kids and our wives come and say, don't drop him. And I said, you got it. You got it. And St. Joseph represents our Heavenly Father. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And his eyes just got really big. It was like he hadn't thought about art in that way. He hadn't even thought about that concept in that way. And I said, Mary represents the church who's adoring Christ. And Jesus is lifted up. And the scripture, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to myself, comes to mind. There's lots of levels. In the Orthodox, Catholic, and Anglican faiths, during the Eucharist, during communion, the priest holds up the bread, the host. And someone pointed out to me that Joseph is really in that Eucharistic pose, just like a, a priest lifting up the bread. So Jesus represents the bread of life as well in that Eucharistic gesture. It's very interesting how people will come from with their different perspectives and, and get something out of it.